Okay, so it's a nice sunny day and um, a good time to pull the HR out and take some of the dust off it. And um, thought we'd bring out all the big boy toys. Um, they're actually called big boy, by the way. I don't mean as in like Joe Biden, big boy. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, that's uh, we'll be using this in a second just to dry it off. And uh, this is their um, vacuum cleaning system, which is bloody brilliant. Uh, and of course, the uh, pressure washer, um, the Washer Pro. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. Um, this one's not too far off being there. Um, it's um, it's going to be open to offers. Um, I've got another project I'm carrying on with. I've been battling over this one. Um, you don't have to keep these plates here, by the way. These are we've actually got them just made without that there and etc. Uh, but anyway, um, but let me show you where we're up to. And you know, someone may want to make an offer because this body is as straight as straight. Um, and just a few little things that, you know, we'll probably do in the next week or two, but uh, we've obviously bought a few bits. Um, love these um, um, Bliss billet hinges, um, made by Bliss. Um, so they'll obviously go uh, sitting in the place of this here, which I think, you know, massive difference. You start adding a bit of chrome in the bonnet, to, under the bonnet, and it really, it helps a bit. And I've um, got a fully refurbished uh, X2 dash going in um, with all the senders uh, from our very trusty mate that makes these things uh, a whole lot of bliss inserts and bits and pieces um, studs all got to go in and look not big jobs but um, just little things that we'll get around to doing fairly soon but um, or not because um, I um, I need this out in probably the next um, four or six weeks um, it's uh, so um, if you've got some cash in your pocket and you want to just um, buy probably one of the straightest HRs you're ever going to see, the, the amount of work that went into this, getting this body, um, I, you know, I didn't do it, but I know the people who did, and um, they want their life back, the hours of their life that, uh, you know, sort of it, um, it took. But it really is, you know, incredibly clean, um, beautiful interior. Um, Absolutely, you know, as you can see, just prim interior that's just to die for. All the um, headliner all done, etc. It's it's one of those ones where it's just some little nitty grits, yeah, you know, bits to do. Which, as I said, look, you know, obviously, if we finish it off, it's going to cost a bit more. Um, if you finish it off, it's going to cost a bit less. But um, um, but there is no rust in this body. I challenge you to put um, um, every test. <laughs> um, I know. Um, I know the people involved with this car, and uh, you look, you know, there's there's just been floor pans replaced, boot um, uh, replaced. It's got, and, and it really didn't have that much rust, but they just went crazy with, you know, making sure that all these lines. I mean, check out these lines here. Seriously, I don't know if the sun's uh, the sun's probably wrong way. I'll come this way, but uh, I've had a lot of HRs. Rarely do they look like this with their lines, and you know, and. Don't get me wrong, you know, still there'll be some final adjustments on some of the doors and bits and pieces. Um, I noticed that, uh, actually I probably just didn't shut the driver's door properly there, but um, uh, they're all brand new rubbers. They're all, this is an every nut and bolt rebuild. And I, look, I wish I could take the credit and some of you that follow my YouTube channel know the story. And um, Mark, who built this with his son, um, died of cancer. And it was, um, you know, it was just unfortunate. Um, that we, we were trying to have this finished for, um, for Mark to still be possibly healthy enough to do a uh, bit of a thing with Fletch. And, um, cause I can't take any credit, you know, like whilst I'm doing some little bits and pieces, they really are little bits and pieces. So, um, Mark gets the full credit and Nathan, his son, to be, um, very, very honest, they both put heart and soul into this thing. And, you know, it pains me, but I've got some other cars coming in and some of you guys if you're new to the channel this is my problem all this has got to get out of here um, my track hawk sort of lives in this spot here uh, this 911's got to go <sighs> bought it for a gift for my wife she wants to keep a box to unbelievable anyway women know better um, but anyway that's uh, that's just putting uh, sorry I'm just doing the roof on that at the moment had a, a micro switchable thing and also needed some hydraulic fluid so we're just fixing that um, and as you can see, we, we sort of plane out a room. Um, this is why 
I've got something else coming in which some of you know what it is, but please don't put it in the comments file because I'm keeping that one a bit of a secret. Um, but over here where, you know, uh, Samantha's uh, Porsche is up there, my 59 uh, Mustang, Mustang, she's I'll get shot for saying that, just a Mustang used to sit here to be fair, a supercharged one. Um, anyway, uh, yes, 59 Corvette, Chevy Corvette, let's get that right. Uh, and then there's a GT4 um, 981, the real model, the 981, love the 981. I, I, honestly, um, they just sound so much better. Anyway, so you can see my problem. I'm just out of space, and with what's coming in, I need it to almost take up two car spaces in the way that we're going to do it. Um, it's it's a very high value car. Um, anything you've just seen there, no, this car's worth twice as much as probably the dearest car there. So you know, I've, I've, and, and insurance is a pain in the ass, and there's a lot of things that that are just you know uh, they're making me do, but. Um, but the thing is, um, if you said, where's my heart? My heart is probably still, whilst I'm buying in, you know, a uh, interesting supercar, um, my heart is still back in the HR and probably the 59 Corvette, or better known as a Mustang, apparently, according to me. Uh, you know, um, even things my, my track hawk, you know, I can take or leave. I mean, it's a great car to run around in and 700 horsepower and they get off their ass and they're, you know, good cars. But as you can see, it's being sort of used as a, a not a daily I'd, I'd probably take it out once every fortnight but um you know it's not getting the same care that um uh, some of my other cars are getting um it's in the funny it's always the older ones that we're more passionate about um but um we'll see with what's coming in we'll see i <laughs> i better be passionate about it um uh, to give you an idea we we couldn't get the insurance under 10 grand a year a little bit over actually in the end um about uh, 11 five actually sorry that's right including gst it was 11 five um so anyway you'll find out about that in time um those of you that are close to me know what it is anyway all right but there you go um uh i just want to oh geez i don't know it might be a bit too cold um i haven't actually hooked up the accelerator properly yet just give me a second i'm just going to try It'd be nice to hear this thing running because it runs so nice it's got a beautiful cam in it oh sorry and i should say motor totally rebuilt you know like so many bits went into this motor uh we can talk about that you know with the person who buys it but um uh, gearbox rebuilt diff rebuilt uh, all brakes rebuilt um every nut and bolt i mean i'm just um uh, those of you that saw the um rear spares video of all the parts that went into this well they were just the you know accessory parts of course but there was a lot more parts hang on I'll just see if i can start up uh, no promises because i um, haven't actually uh, got someone here i normally need someone to give me a quick hand uh, just the way i'm still putting well i'll show you don't mind showing you um we bought this in um this accelerator system um uh, and what this is basically that mounts up against it there's a cable that's up there ready to go and um, then you mount that against the firewall so that becomes your you know, accelerator etc etc but i don't want to mount it just yet i want to check uh the chap that made these did some instructions on um uh, how to fit and i just want to make sure we're doing it 100 percent right before i go and make a mistake and drill a hole somewhere i shouldn't but you know as you can see um we're, we're ready to go over here we've got things like you know genuine radio ready to go in um this is just you know the x2 dash is a piece of cake to put in that's just no no big deal it's very easy to do um nice steering wheel on this thing too but it must go and um i yeah look obviously i've got the auction guys um asking me to put it through them i don't know with this one i, I look we've you know we've sold a few through the auctions and you know different cars i've had and they've done well um, but I don't know. I, I just think this one might be better for somebody that's uh, really got a passion for something that's been totally rebuilt. So just hang on. I'll just see if I can start her up. All right. So you can see where I've been um, playing. Um, I um, <laughs> uh, Because it's got a new tank in it, it's got new everything. This whole motor's not even been run in yet. One of the things that um, we haven't done is put a lot of petrol in it just as yet. And, um, uh, and I thought, oh, no, no, it's probably just because it's been sitting here a bit cold for the last um, half an hour, an hour, while I've been washing it and cleaning it, etc. But um, then I thought about it. I thought, actually, when I had it running, it was running just beautifully. And then it went chug, chug, chug. And, and I thought, oh, that's when it ran out of fuel. And with the 92 containers of, uh, we have red for uh, petrol here and yellow for diesel. And there's so many red containers. Not one of them's got a, a bit of petrol in it. I cannot believe it. Oh, no, one did, but it's already been <laughs> two stroked. Uh, so that's not so good but anyway um there is a couple of videos where we ran um this up a couple of times uh so if you go back uh, a few months back you'll see this motor running beautifully actually it's just i wanted to show you the the cam just sounds so good and it's it's just such a good mix but anyway um and of course i used a bit of um 
you know, start your bastard on the, uh, <laughs> just to see if um, we had any fuel left in there. But no, no, definitely. I mean, it was starting on the, you know, sort of uh, the bit of uh, hyper fuel, but uh, uh, no, it's definitely, we need to um, go down to our local, we're, we're in a bit of a rural area here. So when we go, we take a trailer and we just fill up all the containers, which we'll be doing. And uh, <laughs> geez, I could rob some fuel out of that um, no, that's two stroke as well. No, it's not, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's just thinking out loud. Anyway, so basically, this um, uh, this car is going. So that was obviously what something I spoke about earlier. But I'm trying to think where we got to because there's a bit of a break with me trying to find fuel, etc. Um, things like all the wheels. Um, these here were specially made to to just fit perfectly. Um, and I mean, look, I'm a bit of a dragway fan. I might have changed to dragways, but I don't mind these either, you know, sort of, uh, uh, the slots are good and, you know, they're, and the way he's got that all set up, nice. The only thing I'd say about this car, maybe, um, I don't particularly like cars too low. Um, I, you know, sort of, um, I would possibly just bring it up a little bit myself, uh, but that's definitely, you know, if this becomes yours, that is personal taste and something and please excuse the dogs at the moment. We've just uh, it's pickup time, and we've got people picking up. We run commercial kennels here as well, and oh, they're going quiet now. Good. Um, anyway, uh, and what I was saying about these here, I mean, they don't really have to stay. That's it's. Um, I've actually got some um, over here where they're basically. Um, oh, I just love the work this chap. They're, they're locally made here in Australia, um, and this is probably the one that you know the, these ones here would look good. You know, with the one eight six. 186S, sorry, bring that around the right way. And uh, GM, GMH logo, etc. Anyway, but yeah, look, you know, I keep looking at things going, new bumpers, new lenses, new fuel caps, new, you know, new door handles, new door locks, new, and this is my last HR. Um, and there's some reasons for that. I some health issues as well that I'll sort of be um, moving away from um, uh, HRs and, um, uh, I've really had a great time with them, by the way. I really enjoyed them over the years. Had a lot of them. Uh, I still own one other one uh, that that'll come up for sale at some stage. Uh, we're just sorting that out. Uh, that's a V8 white one that um, uh, is a bit of a long story with. But um, but what I can tell you um, now, uh, just so you know, this is basically um, um, we haven't cut and polished yet. So what you're seeing here, which you know looks really good, is going to turn up like glass. You know, uh, it's not very hard to bring that right up to glass and uh, it'll it'll be a really really nice car but just you know recapping again you know there's there's just i mean it looks a little bit messy down here at the moment but as you can see once you know some of these things are just hooked up and cleaned up um you know, there'll be a whole lot of spares go with this car as well i've got so many hr bits which i as i said i'm not going to be doing another one so um uh so i sort of um and, and just so you know the reason for that is uh, i'm really keen on my uh, doing a few more resto mods on the 59 Corvette. I've really fallen in love with that. How do I miss this? Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I was just running the blower over and I've just noticed, um, uh, and, and look, a bit of a, a push for some of the um, uh, big boy products. These are really good uh, as long as you open your eyes and use them properly like I obviously didn't. Um, this is the extender hose on there uh, that arrived the other day. And um, uh, it's, um, I've got a little bit of leak in the moment because the they forgot to send a rubber, but they're, they're kind enough they're sending one out, so that's great. Um, uh, which says a lot about the support too, which is good. Um, the Sucker Pro um, vacuum cleaner system, um, and actually I'm going to be using that one of the other cars inside the shed. It's not so much, much on that one at the moment. But this is the real thing that saves us so much time. Um, the, you know, the Washer Pro is a, is a great product, so there you go. Um, um, all the trims have all been replaced as well. There's, oh, look, I could just keep going on, you know, what's been done. And um, it's it's a long, long list. And um, as I said, look, the other spares that are there for it, uh, we're going to be, you know, if um, if you end up being the buyer um, and take it as is, um, well, you'll um, end up with, I think some of actually sitting in here. Let me just have a look. Because uh, we had a lot of rare spare parts sitting. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. So yeah, there's boxes and boxes of uh, trims and um, rear spare parts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so all those HR parts, uh, they're definitely no no use to me. New water pumps, new. There's just yeah stuff that obviously is accumulated, but um, hopefully you know it's going to go to a nice home that someone who uh, really enjoys HRs as much as I have over the years. 
Um, and, you know, I think you're getting a very, very straight car. Um, come and see it. You know, I think um, that's the, it's worth, look, if you've got to fly into Albury or something, um, we can pick you up and, you know, um, and show you the car. Um, you know, uh, you, just one of those cars where the minute I saw it, I fell in love. So, you know, I think you'll do the same. And price we can talk about. Um, money's not my biggest um, issue with this car, to be honest. It's probably a bit of, a bit of getting it into the right hands of somebody that, you know, really... Um, wants to um, really enjoy it um, obviously you know you can see I've got enough cars to keep me going for, for uh, a little while yet um, and yeah once again all the all the bliss bits all the x2 dash all that yeah all comes with it it's um, we're not going to be sort of um, like you know give you an idea um, you know just sitting down here I mean you've got a grand for the bliss bits you've got another grand for the x2 dash with all the senders I think it was another 500 bucks by the time you bought the pedal system uh, 600 bucks or eight you know like it's just <laughs> welcome to hr holdens um parts aren't cheap you know and you know i think the motor there was around 12 grand spent on the build there there's just just so much and you know some of this we've spent some of this obviously um uh mark and nathan um spent um and to be very very fair uh, they spent you know the majority not just money but um you know i'm just the one that wrote a check and bought the whole thing you know so that you're looking at right now um, but it's the labour, you know, the hours and hours of labour that, you know, goes into uh, making one of these turn into a, uh, a pride and joy. And I, and I think this has got potential um, to be just that. This is not just going to be any other HR where someone fixed up a little bit of rust and said, right, no, this is, this is not that car. Um, you know, when you start, get, I mean, if you were to get this on a hoist and you saw what we're talking about underneath and just, I mean, and that's actually another facet of it you're not really seeing at the moment, um, but... It is just so, so clean. Um, keep in mind, it is still being run in. Um, so the motor's just been built. So obviously, you know, um, you know what you're looking at in here in the fact that we um, um, need to be flushed and uh, basically uh, sorted out once you've, you know, got a few miles on it. But uh, uh, by the same token, um, it's, um, it's been built. It, it's been built tough. And um, one of the other things, so I can certainly get Nathan to speak to a lot of some uh, there will be areas where i may be a little bit vague in uh you know exact engine parts exact gearbox parts that's where i'll probably say look have a chat with nathan he can he can give you so much insight um uh, you know to um to the car and um he was he was just one of those uh, guys that was um you know so helpful um his dad was so ill at the time and it was really hard to to watch to be honest for, for nathan probably more than anybody uh he was really a great guy but, um, you know, uh, when you lose your father, uh, and, and trust me, he's been around cars. He's built a few cars, uh, Mark. He, uh, a lot of the people from Wangaratta know Mark extremely well. And I obviously only got to meet him on the late stages with this car. Uh, but um, when I saw it, I just went, you're joking. Uh, this, is, this is very nice. And, um, and very nice doesn't have to cost as much as you probably think. Um, there is, and I promise you, if you're serious enough to talk to us about it, um, you know, sort of... Um, I'm not going to put a price on the ad. Um, I'm just going to put up the video to say, guys, hey, you know, contact us. Uh, if you want to talk about it, talk to me. I don't want to. I don't want to talk on the internet. I don't want to talk on Facebook and or YouTube comments. I'll never see them. I'm too busy with other things I'm doing. But you know, um, send me an email and you know, send me your number. I'll ring you back. Um, my number's. I'm, I mean, I don't mind giving it in, on here. Is zero four one eight. Eight double four seven hundred. Um, but look, I am pretty busy with a lot of stuff, so just I may, you know, you please just leave me a message and I will get back to you within, you know, 24 hours. Uh, but sometimes, um, I am just flat out with um, a lot of um, client issues with other parts of the, the business things we do. All right, well, there you go, that's the um, 1967 HR Holden. Um, we never gave this one a name, uh, we called the uh, the uh, the 1959 Corvette. Uh, we called that Eloise after uh, a young girl. Uh, we we <laughs> when we were getting the car, uh, she asked if she could hop into it. Uh, and uh, on our YouTube channel, that video's hit. Um, I think it's about 560,000 views or something. Um, and I don't think anyone's watching that video to look at me or listen to me or anything. I think it's a combination of the car and the the pretty you know <laughs> pretty young girl who's in it. Um, she's a lovely girl, lovely girl. She's taken by the way. So if you go and look at the Corvette video, uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> she's she's very happily uh, in, a, in a relationship, which is great news. Good to see young people doing you know sort of the best. All right, well I've got to start moving some of this around, some of this big boy gear. 
But, uh, well, actually, no, I don't. I've got to finish off a couple of spots on the car that I missed, so I'll do that. And, uh, uh, yeah, look, um, you've got my phone number. Uh, my email, by the way, if you need um, uh, anything by email, is Brenton, B-R-E-N-T-O-N, at Posnav, P-O-S-N-A-V, P-O-S-N-A-V. That's Papa Oscar Sugar November Alpha Victor dot com dot au brenton at posnav dot com dot au all right thanks for having a look at this car it's going to be um oh look it's sad to see it go because it's not far from you know driving it this summer it really isn't uh you know it, it's certainly not going to have any roadworthy issues oh, i shouldn't say that i reckon still pop that back up just a little bit take out the lowering blocks um then then i think we're right we see roadworthy uh they they get a bit sort of um difficult on um stupid things these days aren't they anyway it doesn't matter all right um by the way all brand new tires um the wheels are obviously brand new um oh, look there's there's not much nathan will tell you if you end up talking to nathan there's not much on this car that's not brand new there's just the words brand new are just something that yeah it, it very very much identifies what was done with this car all right thanks very much appreciate you having a bit of a look at the car and um yeah go, please go back and have a look at the videos we've got of it running the motor the cam it sounds really nice so um but apparently this one's not an electric car they run better on petrol so um thank god for that uh, electric cars that's that's a interesting subject around this area right now uh, you won't see me in an electric car <laughs> all right guys all the best thanks very much uh and ha have a look around our youtube channel uh, there's a few car bits and pieces obviously a lot of radio stuff with what we do but um uh but yeah please subscribe and um I'll keep you updated with what we're up to with cars. There's definitely a very nice one coming up that will be here and will be, yeah, I think, I think interesting. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Cheers, guys. All the best.